what's up, guys? So consider joining our locals. If you like the fact that we catch predators nationwide, it's not possible without you joining our locals. On locals, you get to see over 20 caches early and completely uncensored. You get to see live predator confrontations as they happen. And you get to support the movement that has an arrest in 43 different states and convictions at 24. We do travel the most and catch the sickest. It's only $7 a month. You get more early content than Rumble. We do big content dumps every single month on locals. And can't do this without you guys. Consider joining locals. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll say it, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't forget the key seal.
right now, dude. Hey, how's it going, sir? Uh, I was just, I have a package. I was just at your door, sir. Are you home? Uh, uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm... Okay, yeah, I mean, I just gotta make sure it gets in your hands. Do you mind uh, coming to the door so I can give it to you? I can. Yeah. Okay, well, hey, Ruben. Where's your phone? Yeah. Um, well, basically, I'm going to just be frank, homie. These are messages to Kelsey we got to talk about, okay? To who? To Kelsey, who is just messaging you on Instagram, all right? So, look, man, we just wanted to have a conversation with you about it because I understand you're and, you know, you get bored online. It happens, all right? But we should probably talk about this because we have every single thing saved, okay? Oh, um, this... Huh? I, I am... I, under I, I understand your and that's why I just want to have a conversation with you about it. Am I under arrest or what? No, 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 no. I'm not a cop, but I think that's why we should talk about it. Well, who, who are you? We're just making sure that we're a group that we're called Kid Protectors USA. We make sure kids don't talk to adults online. And, you know, we typically don't go to someone's house and talk about this stuff, you know, because I don't really feel the need to. But I understand your and that's why we just want to talk to you about it, man. Oh, my God. So, you mind coming to the door? I'm, I'm old, brother. I'm being honest. Okay. Well, I understand your dad's in a wheelchair. Um, you are not in a wheelchair. Um, so, how, how, can, how can we have this conversation? Because it ain't, it ain't going gonna... to... Can we come to our room, my room? Yeah, yeah. No problem. Right. No problem. Give me one sec. Give me one sec. All right. I'll be at the door, homie. What's with these people, dude? All right, I got a hold. I got a hold of it. He's coming to the door. I wonder if he is a former cop. Yeah. I wonder if he is a former cop. I will make. I don't know. That will. Well, I mean, because we looked him up, and, and he actually kind of said something about that. Oh, you here? Yeah. Okay. Come in. All right. Come on in. I got for safety. I got two. You're a former cop, right? Yeah. Okay. I got two people with me for safety. None of us are packing. All right. Just so you're. I'm, my name is Gordon. Sorry to meet you like this. My name is Gordon. Sorry to meet you like this. Okay. Yeah, we got. I don't think that. I think you're. We have cameras for safety. Okay. Okay. Beautiful home. Sure, sure, sure. It's like John Swindle and Paul Moreno combined. If you're not local, so you know. Well, I guess these people do. Just turn on the TV for my dad. Sure, sure, absolutely. Just no, it's for me.
Oh, of course there is. Okay. Mind if I can turn the light on in here, uh, Paul? Hey, dude. So that was going to be your vehicle of transportation. I know. We just have to storm the property. Oh, oh, this would have been the gas. He does play music. Look at that. I could a gooey tar. Hey, Ru Ruben? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm coming, bro. Do you have any guns in the house? Yeah. Okay. Are you, do you have any on you right now? Oh, no. Okay. No, mm. no. Mind if we turn this light on? No, man. Can we go talk in my room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Where's the gun? Just curious. It's it's in my room, but it's not, it's not out. Okay. Where do you keep it? Keep it in the closet. Okay, go. Beautiful room. Do I have to? No, it's all voluntary to talk to us. I was going to tell you that. Tell them to shut the cameras off, man. Hold on. One second. Can I turn the radio off? Just like that. Okay. Well, basically, um, well, if we're going to have this convert, I'm, I'm, I'm only going to do the conversation with camera. Since you notified me there was, since you notified me there was a, how do I put it, guns in the house, it's for my safety and your safety. You're so, be that's not my plan now. Mm -mm. Why you? For safety reasons. So, basically, I know, but look how big you are. Dude, but I'm yeah, but... You could keep my ass in a, in a heartbeat. Well, like, I could, but, you know, you're a former cop, and I understand. Look, but basically, look, I'm this conversation is voluntary, and you, you're a cop, you know, you know all this, you, you know, all the cops. Yeah, that's why I said I don't... Okay, well, at any time... I mean, I let you in my house. Mm -hmm. That should be enough to say, hey, look, this guy at least wants to talk about it. Yeah, but I don't know how many law enforcement friends you have, and... Um, you do? Yeah, I don't know how many you have. And if you tell them that we came into your house, threatened you, and they don't have any proof that, to the contrary, that doesn't make me feel comfortable. Because this is like my fifth, this is my fifth time going to someone's house like this. And I can tell you two out of those five times, including one in, where was it, in Tyler, I think it was? In Tyler, where they basically, they... I turned the cameras off, because this is my second time even doing something like this. They turned, I turned the cameras off. It was a whole show because despite all this they went to the police and were like oh um they threatened me they after th i know you wouldn't do that but he said the same damn thing because i was that was my concern so you can consent to the cameras or we just won't have this conversation and you know i'm giving you the courtesy of having this conversation because every single message is saved so if this you don't not a real person. it was a, yes it was a sting absolutely so but I obviously figured. right i figured that's why, but... Well, it's not like you had a mode of transportation. Obviously, the Texas law is, you know, as long... It doesn't matter who it is on the other end. You know that. You're a cop. So, basically, um, you can consent to the cameras, or we're not going to have this talk with you. Go ahead. Good to film? Yeah, Okay. So... I just don't want to go to jail. Well, you see any handcuffs on me? It's still you can call the police. There could be police out there now. I'm just, I mean, because honestly, bro. Do you think your house is nice enough to be a thing house where there's cops waiting outside? I don't know what you mean by that. But, uh, to be honest with you, bro. Uh huh. Um, what are you finger right now? I'm, I'm, I'm actually trying to show you that I blocked. Okay. I blocked it because okay. I didn't, I wasn't feeling right. Okay. Because I mean, this is 
is the first time I ever did this and the shit that I said I shouldn't have said. Uh -huh. The pictures that I sent I shouldn't have sent. I know that. Okay. And I was feeling really, really guilty. I started having man because I was thinking, man, you know, uh I was just thinking it's bad. So Because how old did she say she was? She said she was twelve. Yeah. And you basically yeah, asked know. her to have all that stuff? Yeah. Okay. Might might if I no, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. And then she uh, wanted to meet up. At first she told me she was from the I'm University of City. Don't I know I'm not gonna sit on the walker. No, nah, bro, if you wanna get a get a pad and put it right here on the on the one of those pads in that bag. D is this where you pee right here? Yeah. God. Even after you retired from being a cop, you're still a pig. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Let me see. Where? Yeah. Where can I sit down? That's what I'm saying. Get a pad from one of those bags. All right. And you can sit right here next to me, man, because I mean, it's filthy. Is that poop stains? No. Blood. Uh, blood. Yeah. So we're just curious. Where were you, a cop? DeWitt County. DeWitt. Is that a Stockdale? Or? Oh, that's Quero. Quero. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Victoria, Texas. Yep, yep. That's I know where Quero is. So, appreciate it. Oh, man. Well, we're both going back to our professions. I used to play football, and here I am in pads again, and you are a cop, and you're a pig still. It's a little, it's a little throwback today. Um, okay, so, sorry, I'm, I'll pick that up after. Um, so you were a cop for how long? What happened? I got sick. Got sick. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. I'm sorry that happened. No, you're not. I, I am. No, you're not, dude. I know you think I'm a... Well, if I thought that, do you think I'd be talking to you right now? Well, I don't know. Do you think I had, do you think I had to come talk to you? Yeah. You think I had to? Yeah. You think... You think that this wasn't all enough? You think that every message you sent just wasn't enough? I mean, truly? No, I know, I know. Okay. I, I know that. I mean, uh, I just. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you f***ed up, but I'm not saying. Uh, but do do I think that you're just some? Do do I think you're like the other people online doing this? No, I don't. Let me just put it that way, okay? So let, let me let me ask you. So basically. Not, unfortunately knocked you out of the force and whatnot. Okay. So you seem to be a pretty good cop then, right? I was. I was. I was a good person. Okay. And you took your service like you were pr proud person, of it. Yeah, yeah. I took prestige and pride in what I did. Okay. Well, even, um, you know, forgetting about this, I, I, I really thank you for your service. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Were you always in Quero, or did you go kind of bounce around? I was always in Quero. Always in Quero. Were you born there? No. I'm no. Born here in Sikin. Okay. So that's, you, is this where you always lived, though, or did you? Yeah. So you would drive from here to Quero? Yeah. I think that's a pretty good dedication. That's like an hour, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. And you've always taken care of your dad? Uh, yeah, always, pretty much for the last twenty years. Mm. Okay. Mom's not hasn't been around. She passed away. Yeah, man. Just recently. So she lived here too? Yeah. Well, I, I do, you know, we all screw up, but I really do appreciate what you've done for them and for DeWitt, DeWitt County. All right. So this online stuff, I mean, obviously, Kelsey's Kelsey. Um, you know, I'm not trying to blast you and go over all these. Um, when did this kind of start for you? With her? Mm-mm. This crap online in general, like, you know, Looking at your following list, Kelsey wasn't the first. Hopefully, I think she'll be the last, but she wasn't the first. So, how, how many years ago was this a thing? It's after I uh, got sick in 2016. 2016? When, when I got sick and then I got into the. My wife left me. That's probably. Okay. Got into the. Take all these medications. Seen some pretty tough stuff on the force. I sh kid. I sh kid. Thirteen year old. And it, it gave me. Did you? Yeah. What, what 
was what was happening with that? Um, it was a justified. Was it? Shoot. It was. It was. Yeah, he uh, he he stole a car, went on a joyride, and um, he's just kidding. It's okay. Um, went on a joyride, and bottom line, it was at night. And, I'm not stereotyping, but he was a black kid, mm -hmm. and we stopped him. Uh, we actually cornered him um, on a rural road. And you were Swero PD or DeWitt County? No, I was Quero. Quero, Quero PD. I was, no, I was DeWitt County. DeWitt County. Because he was he was in the county. Okay. And actually, Quero does, Quero doesn't have PD. Poor they town. They only have a, yeah. Yeah. Quero's a really like a two street town. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he uh, pulled pulled over and we told him to get out of the car. He wouldn't get out of the car. Finally, when he did, he told him, we told him to put his hands up. He had this hand up, this hand in his pocket, mm -hmm. and we didn't know what he had. Right. And it was dark, he's black, mm -hmm. and at night when you shine a light on somebody, you mean you could pretty much see everything. Right. We couldn't really tell what he had in his pocket, so he pulled out, he pulls out his hand and he goes like this. And right, yeah, common sense. We were like, you know, it was justifiable because we felt imminent threat, imminent danger, so we fired. <sighs> Dude, well, father, yeah, yeah, really, uh, lead to catastrophic consequences. Um, okay. So, so yeah, we, um, mm -hmm. um, we uh, it hit me. And uh, uh, what what year was that? That happened in 2013. Uh, no, 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 that happened in. Do you want to see what I took so you don't think anything? Yeah, sure. It's abuse brown. It's for. Okay. And we saw it when we took one. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Um, 2009 and then 2013 is when it hit me. Um, July of 2013, I was up from July to September. I couldn't sleep. Mm. Having nightmares, and that's when I was diagnosed. And, uh, and everything, and then in 2016, I ended up getting a uh, That's when I, I almost died, mm -hmm. and I've had five surgeries since then. They've tore out a big part of my colon, and um, I am incontinent. Um, I pee on myself. I crap on myself. You said it, you're you're the uh, continent. Incontinent. I was about to say a size of a continent. I'd be like, dude, don't 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 pee on yourself like that. No, no. Incontinent. Okay. And so yeah. So then, to make it short. I just had, I have too much time on my hands. Right, and then the hands wander and... and, and nobody wants to, you know, I can't find a, you know, I can't, I'm just pathetic, man. I can't find a woman that wants to date me because of my, you know, my yeah. condition and then... And, and, I get online and I see these, see these things, and I never was into it. Honestly, I've never never been into. It. 2016 is when it started. When is when it started? What 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 happened in 2016 that kind of sucked you into this stuff? Uh, somebody approached me. A young girl approached me. Mm hmm How old was she? She was 14. Okay. And then she just I don't know, man. I just I, I've. She made it easy, you know, because she she approached me. It wasn't like I approached her. Yeah, of course. And that's rare online for the fe whatever age, the female to approach the male. Well, that's that's the thing. It wasn't online. Oh, okay. She used to live across the street. And um, it started off with my truck. She, she would compliment my truck because I used to have a Dodge Ram. Uh, it was a 2006 Dodge Ram uh, quad cab. 
Mm-hmm. Pimped out. It was freaking badass. Yeah. And that's how it started. But I, honestly, bro, I mean, I swear to God, I did, we kissed, mm-hmm. but we did not have I swear to God, I've never had with a young girl. All I've done is just said some I've said a lot on Instagram mainly. Um, what other apps? There was a one that's not no longer on. It used to be Kick. 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 A lot of young girls on there. Oh hell yeah, a lot. And then before that, there was one called Fun for Mobile. Never heard of that one. How'd that go? That was crazy, dude. Young. I mean, there were young ass girls on there. Like young asses and like eight. You're nine. seven, nine, nine. But I never. I honestly, the youngest I've spoken to was Kelsey. Okay. And I know I said some. I said something today that was up, but yeah, I just honest. I mean, and it's not an excuse, man. I'm a grown ass man. I I I know better, man. Mm-hmm. You top it off, which makes me makes it makes it even worse for me is that I know better. Mm-hmm. I'm a Christian dude. Yeah. And, you kind of look like Buddha and Jesus combined. <laughs> no, but I saw the Bible verses. See, and that's what's f***ed up about it, dude. Yeah. And, and I knew, I just knew one day, I knew one day something was going to happen. Because several years ago, I was on a, on kick. Mm-hmm. And I met this girl, supposedly from Florida. Mm-hmm. Uh, she said she was 14. Okay. And uh, she sent me some pictures. Mm-hmm. Um, Nudes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, um, of course, I sent her a picture of my jaw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which, yeah, yeah. Which was... But it turned out to be uh, a scam. Mm-hmm. There was this guy who I looked into uh, who who is actually a real detective in Brevard County. Yeah, I know where that is. Um, in Florida. Yep. I'm- and now what is his name? He's actually still in the force. Um, he tried to. He called me. Everything that he said was legit. Uh, he didn't know I was a cop, though. Um, this so, is still when you were a cop. No. no oh, okay. After, no, okay. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. After all okay. that happened. After okay. Was, okay. Got know, it. Got it. Got it. When I was a police officer, I was on the up and up, man. I, I you know, because I had my wife. I had everything. Right. Man. Right. It was. It was after. I had, you know, this and then this, uh, the and everything, but and I can't remember his name, but uh, I looked into him. I had a friend of mine look into him from the sheriff's department. Sure enough, he was a sergeant in the Brevard County Sheriff's Department. Uh, he said that they were going to uh, come and arrest me for soliciting online. Uh, Solicitation of a, of a minor, mm-hmm. um, exploiting a minor, and setting, sending lewd and, and uh, malicious pictures yeah. to a minor. Yeah. Okay, so that was three felonies. Right? right, right. And he goes, you could get in a lot of trouble. He goes, he goes, uh, but if you, you know, he goes, you could either do that or, or pay a fine of five thousand dollars. I said, okay, man, I'll pay the fine. I don't want to go to jail. Well, what he did wrong was I told him, well, give me the name of the municipality there that I pay the the money to. He said, oh, no, no, no. He goes, you, you, know, you don't have to do that. He goes, what I need you to do is, back then they were using the green the green dot cards. Mm-hmm. He goes, go to Walmart, get a green dot card, and put it on, put the money on the card. How do you know it was actually a sergeant from Brevard County? Because uh, my friend from the... Uh, De- um, deputy from here, Guadalupe County. Yeah. Looked him up. He gave the guy gave me his real name, his real badge number, but he didn't think that I was going to look him up, and I did. He's a he's a black guy. I can't remember his name though, because he's still on the force. So he's probably done that to quite a few people. Oh yeah, and so that's how I knew he was lying because. Um, when you pay a fine, you don't pay a fine to a yeah, 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 exactly. You pay a fine to the municipality or wherever the offense was, you know, like Bavard County Municipal Court or something. So did he send you actual nudes of a kid then? Yeah, he did. He sent me actual... Well, I don't know if she was. She, right. She could have been 
19. Cops 18. aren't even supposed to send those. Well, see, he wasn't. He's a crooked cop, man. Yeah. So he was just doing it. I know he probably burned, I don't know, about 20, 30 people before me, you know, but um, then what I did was I changed my number and I never heard from him again. You know, and, and, and yeah, because if he tried to get you with that, then you showed him what they did. He, they would have dropped your like fully. Yeah, but I just it scared me. Yeah, it, just, it scared me, so I didn't want to like. I mean, for my friends to know what I, what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Did you tell your sergeant friend that this what the situation was? I told him it was with somebody else. I didn't tell him it was with me. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Because if I had told him, hey, you know, this dude trying. To he would have told me, why are you doing it? Yeah. Makes sense. So, so how many um, of these miners have talked to you online, like, over the years? If you had to put a number, has it been hundreds? Or oh, God, don't do it. Dozens? No, not even that. Like, maybe five. Five? Maybe five or six. Okay, how many have you tried to talk to, though? A lot. A lot. Probably hundreds? I wouldn't say hundreds. I honestly don't. Dozens? But dozens, maybe. Okay. But not hundreds, I mean, to okay. be honest. And, I mean, I'm pretty sure you you got that I've said before. I mean, I'm just mm -hmm. assuming. So, you mentioned nine-year-olds on this Farm for Friends, Fund for Mobile. What was it called? Fund for Mobile. How, where were nine-year-olds being displayed? On there. Like profiles of them? Yeah, they had profiles of themselves. Okay. And how many times did you get a picture or something like that? Oh, no, never did. I never did. Um, of course, they wouldn't say they were nine. They would say they were like 14 or 15. And then if I'd approach them, and then as we'd get to talking, and they'd be like, you know, uh, I guess lower their guard. They would tell me, well, can I tell you the truth? This is how old I really am. They said nine. Yeah. Okay. But I swear to God, I never took any. You never went. I never took any. Take sent. Got any pictures? Okay. So after they said they were nine, what happened after that? I'd cut it off. Are you sure? Yes, sir. You sure, there wasn't a time or two where you didn't. Not that I recall. Okay. Why? Was there? I don't, I'm asking you. No, sir. I don't know. No. Okay. Did. Did any of them end up seeing your junk ever? No. No. So how many miners did you send your junk to? Just two. Two. Who were they? Uh, that one from Florida. Uh-huh. And then another girl that uh, we don't even, well, it's been years since we've talked. And how old was she? Fifteen. Okay. And how many girls have sent you their nudes? Dozens. Dozens? Yeah. And is it like underage girls or whatever? So if you've only talked to five or six, Howard doesn't sending you their nudes. Well, that's one. But I'm not. I'm saying it's been more. It's been dozens of girls, I guess. Yeah, but not hundreds. I mean, you know, okay. You know, but I've gotten dozens of pictures. Well, I've what, only spoken to about five or six of them. So where do you get the pictures from? They've either sent them on Instagram or back on when I was on kick. Okay. On Instagram, not not so much, honestly. Not actually. No. So, um, on. Okay, so so these nudes. What would you say the age ranges are? Like the youngest to the oldest. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. They look fourteen in the pictures. How old they look? Eighteen, nineteen. Eighteen, nineteen. Okay. Have you ever talked to other adults online about this type of stuff? No. Okay. God, no. I don't know. Have you ever had like Telegram or anything? No. No. I don't even know what that is. You're not familiar with it? No. Nobody's linked you a Telegram thing? They, well, they told me to go to Telegram, but I don't. I don't go to any other app that I don't know. Mm -hmm. Even WhatsApp, I don't even use that. Okay. I have a WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I can't remember the last time I've even used it. Have you ever just been on Telegram to see what it was and you left? Never. 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 I don't, like I said, I've, I don't even know what it is. Okay. They've told me, hey, can you, can you go to Telegram? Um, 
I've been hit up on Facebook before. Uh, you know, telling me some BS about you know, you know they're shy and they don't really know how they don't know they don't want to talk mm -hmm. on Facebook, so go to Telegram. And how old were they oh, supposed to be? Oh, these were adults. Okay. These were adults. Got it. So on on Facebook, I mean, there's like groups and people like you can easily get sucked into, like teen groups, any of that type of stuff. How many times has that happened? Never. Never. Okay. How many of these monitors hit you up on Facebook before? Mm, only like maybe two. And who were, who were, how old were they? Uh, like, fuck, I said 14, 15. 14, 15, okay. And pretty much does every girl that talks, does the conversation, whether pics are sent around, does it get kind of sexual a little bit? Not at the beginning, no. Okay, but it ends it up being that. Ends up being okay, like that. okay. So with Kelsey, um, she told you she was... 12. What did you think about that when she said she was 12? I don't know what I was thinking. Dude. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I just... You said, oh crap, I'm way older than you and I'm in the San Antonio area. Then you ended up saying you were 40 instead of 50. Yeah. What, what was the kind of the reasoning for that? Just kind of make her more comfortable in a way. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I really appreciate your honesty. I I, I do respect it. Cause it, you're it, freaking me out though, man. Cause why? Like you. I'm, I don't know. Do you think of yourself as that? Yeah. Because I get what I did. Look what I said. Especially what I wrote to her just a couple of hours ago. About how you want to just. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Old body, and yeah. Mm -hmm. That's and that's when I I ended up when she says uh, when she told me she wanted to, what time was I gonna get off? Of course I lied to her. Yeah. You do play guitar though, right? Yeah. Well, I play, I am a musician. I mean, I'm not I'm not I'm not lying. I wasn't lying about that. Mm -hmm. But um, that's when I just started feeling really sick. And then I, I turned off the TV and took my, my medicine to go to sleep because I just felt sick. Man. Do you have any kids of your own? No, I don't. No. But um, but you've always seemed to protect the kids. I mean, you used to be, I think, uh, just looking at your history or whatever, you used to be, uh, I think, in a uh, juvie cop, right? Yeah, so there's that. Um, so, okay. So what about Kelsey just kind of turned you on in a way? I just thought she was pretty, man. Okay. She was nice to me. Right. So she she told you that I think this whole thing is just get pictures from me and all of that. Yeah, she, she said that that's all she thought I wanted. And, and that's kind of what it was, wasn't it? Honestly, no. No, I just... No? You know... Cause she did send me, or y'all sent me two pictures. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, but that, that's that's not what you. So you were planning on going to see her one day. No. No. So what did you want out of this? Honestly, I, I in the time I was just horny. I was horny. Horny. And that was just it. And okay. And that's that's stupid. No. And and you know I just. Wanted to see something, but you could, I mean, you could look at my phone, even go through my pictures, and I have no pictures. The pictures that she sent me, I deleted them, mm -hmm. you know, um, and if it wasn't, by the way, if it wasn't, if that's not Kelsey, what are those, who? who that's a 25-year-old. Uh, that's 4 foot 11. That works with us. I said after I told her what I said, I, I felt sick, sick to my stomach, mm -hmm. and then I blocked it. And I, you know, I said, Lord, please forgive me. I prayed, please forgive me for what I'm doing. And you know, I'm just like, do you think you need help for this? Have you thought that before? 
I actually, yeah. Okay. I, that, I, that I actually do respect, man. So, you, you mentioned you wiped those underwear photos. Yeah. Okay. Where did you wipe them from? What do you mean wipe? Like, I don't, I don't mean when you go pee here. I mean, you got deleted the underwear photos. The ones that y'all sent? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Where did you delete them from? Instagram. You, you, you can't delete somebody else's picture on Instagram. Did you delete it from your gallery? No, from my messages. Oh, from she your said, messages. She sent them on my, on, on me, on my message. Okay. On my, 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 uh, on my message. Because we were, we've been talking on Instagram. And then she sent, or y'all sent me those pictures on, on, on uh, Instagram. Yeah. I didn't save them to my phone or anything. Okay. I just deleted them. Have you ever, uh, what happened to the other nudes of the minors you got? Like, did you delete it? Delete it? Oh, okay. I don't, I don't have any, any. When's the last time someone sent you something like that? Today. Like a nude? Yeah. Of a minor? Semi nude or whatever it was today. Okay, well, when was the last time it was like a full nude? Or what is semi nude? Like showing or something? Or. Yeah, uh, Well, if we're gonna unravel this whole thing, Ruben, I mean, it would definitely it would definitely help to figure out why these people are sending you this stuff and who's doing it, well, it's, it's, or when what they're sending, because obviously there's something that keeps sucking you back into this. It's, you know, it's it's, it's a poison piece of candy, man. Yeah, I know. I need to get help for it. Okay, so what's a semi nude thing that was sent to you? Where was it? Which one? You you said the last time you received something semi nude was today. Was today the one that Kelsey sent me? Okay. The one that y'all sent me. But I mean actually showing private parts. Oh, it's been years, dude. Like been a years. years yeah. A couple of years since that happened. Okay. Is there is there anything in your gallery or in any messages that you think you should get rid of? Right now? Mm-hmm. No. No. Okay. What's so have you ever on Facebook or Instagram? Because, you know, this is I know this isn't you asking for it, but this is just what people do, because maybe I'm just, you know, throwing on a wall here. Not literally in this room, that probably happens. But, I mean, I'm just throwing on a wall in the fact that, like, you know, um, maybe these people have sent you some just got you sucked into it. Like, have, has anybody just sent you, like, a nude of something really young that sparked your curiosity or anything like that? No. So there's no, like, no videos or pictures you didn't want to see, but they sent it to you anyway, or... It's only been like 14, whatever, around that age. That's it, that's okay. It, yeah. Okay. So on Instagram, what's is the majority you look at just kind of younger stuff? No. no. Just anything? Yeah, whatever I, I look, whatever's on my uh, feed or whatever. Okay. So know, knowing that you weren't going to meet Kelsey, why did you kind of just say, let's meet up and do all this stuff together? Just being stupid. Man. Stupid. Did, did this kind of give you a rush? Like at, at the time, I was horny, like I said. Okay. And then as soon as, as soon as I said what I said, I felt bad. Mm-hmm. Extremely bad. I mean, awful. And so I blocked her. I, before I even blocked her, I deleted the pictures. And, and, uh, yeah, that was it. So what was this teen site you uh, sent her earlier? Like, it was some picture of what looked to be a young lady oh, having it was, it was, it wasn't a teen, it was a off of a okay. So you sent this picture of a, of what looks to be a young woman getting, pretty much getting for lack of a better term, and you said, I want to do this to your 12-year-old body or something like that. Yeah. What, what, what gave you a rush? Like, what about saying, I want to do this to your 12-year-old body turned you on? I, I, I can't explain it to you. I don't know. Well, just... Maybe you can't explain it, but you, but you best try. You can try your best, whether you can or can't explain. It. You can at least try your best, and that's, that's I, all I'm asking. I'm just, I, I, and I'm being honest with you, man. I got horny, 
mm-hmm. and the in the moment I, I you know I said what I said I sent that picture mm-hmm. I n- never intended to meet her never intended to do anything you know um, and it, yeah it gave me a little uh, a rush but you know I'm, I'm I regret it so I regret it so much like I don't I wish I wouldn't have done it and I can't take it back I already did I know. It, you know and the thing the thing of it is is now the, the sad part about it is I'm just gonna be honest with you is that you know I feel like I'm gonna end up going to jail and I, I don't want to go to jail well I mean like I said I don't think you need trouble I think you just need help dude I think there's a lot of factors that play into this. I don't think it's you just being wired a certain way. Because there are people like that. You know that. There's bad mother online. And I don't, I don't think you're one of them. I really don't. I mean, I didn't have to come talk to you, man. I really, I really didn't. I told you on the phone, this is like one of the only times I'd actually talk to somebody. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't need to talk about this. You know, you know? I don't need to take this step for you. But I am because I, I know you were great for the community. And it happens, dude. It really does. It does. You're you being a cop. You know nobody's perfect. You know that. Yeah, but that's the bad thing about it is that I do know that. Yeah. The ten percent dealing with the ninety percent of bad people, right? Whatever that quote goes. So. D- did you ever ask Kelsey for nude pictures? No. No. Brawn panties, right? It was brawn panties. That was it. Okay. Was it. So when these when these other teens sent you nudes, um, or this, how did that end up going? Like, you said dozens of girls sent you nudes, right? Yeah. Okay. Were they all around 14, 15? 14, between 14 and 17. Okay, and you sure nothing was younger than that? Not problem. Not problem. Okay. Not, okay. Not that I, not that I know. They. Right. They I, I, I know there's not like a number I, here. I wouldn't have. I, w- I would. There was no way of me knowing. Okay. Got it. And me just being sick and needing help. When, if you want to know what I did with the pictures, I just I, and then I I did. Did you um? Did, were these pictures, videos, or both that were sent to you? Pictures. Pictures. Okay. So, you said, I like you a lot. And you said, do you sleep in PJ's panties and bra? You said, I wish I were in your bed. So, if she, if she were, to, were, were to send you that bra and panties picture, I, I, I do believe you would have deleted it. But were you hoping to eventually one day work up to nudes? Honestly, no, no. Because I mean, as you know, there was a span of like maybe a week where we didn't talk, mm-hmm. and I just I got the feeling that you know she. I just I, I there was just something telling me that she wasn't gonna do it, and so I said, you know what, I mean, Ruben, why are you even doing this, man? Mm-hmm. So I left it alone. And then she started hitting me back up. And, and, and so I just, it was like enticing, you know? Well, there were a lot of times you double texted too. I mean, you said, I need to ask you a question that's very important. And she said, what? And you said, are you really 12? She said, yes, why? And you said, I'm just wondering. I just really, really want to get to know you. At that point... I wanted just to get to know her, but okay. then I thought to myself, why the hell would you want to get to know her? What do you have in common with the 12-year-old girl? Mm-hmm. Then that's what I told myself. So who brought up sexual first? Was it you or her? I want to say it was me. Yeah, I appreciate the honesty. You say, love me, treat me nice to me, and if I ask them to give it to me, love me and only me, have feelings for me and only me. So this seemed like, this seemed like an online relationship in a way. Yeah, but it was, it was just a little fantasy of mine, you know, because I knew it wasn't real, I knew it was never going to be real, 
but it felt good having somebody to talk to when nobody when nobody else was talking to. You. Okay. So what if she was 11 or 10 or 9? Okay, so why 12? Why was 12 your cutoff then? Because if it was just the loneliness thing, then surely any age would be fine with you. No. Okay, so what is it about 12 that isn't with 11? I don't know. It's just, it's just it's not gonna make sense to you, man. Because it doesn't matter if it makes sense. The thing, the thing, the thing I respect is an effort to explain it. Okay. It's just for me, that was just going too far. And even though speaking to her was too far, way, way too far, mm -hmm. you know, I still crossed the line. All right. But 12 in my mind, I was like, that, that's, that's it. Okay. You were really thinking that to yourself? Yeah. <coughs> okay. I told myself that, you know, 12 is the cutoff line that I would know. Okay. So you said, why you miss me, you like me, still on the phone, my love, blah, blah, blah. So what did you guys talk about on the phone? And I, I didn't actually listen to the calls, so I'm just, this is truly me out of curiosity asking you to like what happened. I don't remember the phone calls, the talking. Um, I knew she wasn't tall when I heard her voice, but... That's why I asked her, you know, are you sure you're 12? Because she didn't sound 12. And then when we started talking about I'd say, like, or whatever, she would be like, what is that? And I, I'm like, man, that's... I said, she can't be. There's something, there was something wrong. I knew that there was something wrong. I still fell for it. Okay. So you you ended up believing it. What? You, that she was 12. I knew she was 12. Well, why'd you block her? Because I knew this was going to happen. Because, well, why'd you... I don't think if you felt guilty and blocked her, I don't think that means you didn't think she was 12. I think... I think you at least... And, of course, you don't know until you see somebody in person tangibly, but you wouldn't be saying, I want to... 12 year old body if he didn't believe she was 12 I mean look at the pictures man oh, I know I said that at the moment because I mean you even asked me you were, you were even questioning if the photo I sent you was of a little girl in her underwear you were questioning that well because I, I knew that it wasn't mm -mm. if you knew it wasn't you wouldn't have asked me man I'm, I'm asking you um, you wouldn't be saying I'm gonna your 12 year old body then you say then you don't like me I thought I was your boyfriend do you have feelings for me you wouldn't you wouldn't be not serious about meeting if you if you if you thought she was an adult you would have went to go meet her or, or tried to I, mean, I know you don't believe me I know you don't believe me but I had no intentions on meeting her even if I had a vehicle mm -hmm. I had no intentions on meeting, meeting her None is that because she was too young? Yeah, well, because I know I know what I was doing is wrong. Okay. That's the honest truth, but I know you're not going to believe it. I know you're not okay. going to believe it. So if, if, if you knew it was wrong, and you, I mean, when I asked you just now, it was because she was too young, you said, yeah. So you, you absolutely knew she was 12, and I think that's why you had a line, at least. No, I mean, uh, I, I said, because I knew she she. Of course you knew she was 12, because if she told you she was 11, you wouldn't have talked to her. That's what you just told me. No, yeah, I know that. Okay. Well, I that's what I'm saying, but that's what I said. But but I knew, I would, what I'm saying is that I would not, I did not have intentions to go actually meet her. I didn't. Okay. God honest, I didn't. And I and I believe that, and I, and I believe that's because you knew she was 12, or believe she was 12. I knew that, that she, there was a possibility that she wasn't 12. A possibility she wasn't 12. She wasn't 12. Okay, so... And it's not, you, to, it's it's not to say that... that so, so you did believe she was 12, but you thought there was a possibility she wasn't. Is that, yeah, okay. Of course. Of okay. Course, yeah. So a possibility... Okay, so... So it seems like you were you were 
pretty sure she was 12, but you thought maybe she's not. Is that kind of right? Okay. All right. Well, that's, that's in my opinion, that's more believable, of course, because you, you never know till you know. Okay. So for a lot of this conversation then, it was still, was it, I mean, still assumed you were messaging a 12-year-old then? Yeah. Okay. So you said, I told you I like you like a man loves a woman as a girlfriend. And she says, okay, but how do I treat you like a boyfriend? And you said, love me, treat me nice, be to me. If I ask for anything, give it to me. So what did you mean when you said, if I ask for something, give it to me? Because then you started asking for pictures and all that type of stuff. Again, you're not going to blame me, but it was just attention. Attention. That's it. Okay. Because there were only certain times where she would text. Mm -hmm. And and uh, you know, I wanted to actually get to talk, you know, to have a conversation. And actually, when she did call on Instagram, and I heard her voice, you know, something told me that she wasn't twelve. But just having someone to talk to, and having you know, someone just there, you know, just. It just does I can't explain it. I mean, just, I'm, I'm, I believe me, believe me. I am trying to get help mm -hmm. right now. Because I know I have a problem. I know I have a problem and I want to prove to you that that um, I'm seeking professional help because I know I have a problem and I don't want to do this. Is it some static thing? I wouldn't say that because if it was that, if I were static or I would pursue more young girls mm -hmm. than I do and I know that that doesn't make sense um, do you need to complete your registration well I can uh, no look at the top of the company look it's just, it's okay I, I do appreciate it's, it's, that because I know um, that I need I need help right and I'm I don't want to I don't want to do this bro I don't man I mean and, and. so here here Ruben is where here Ruben is where I, I knew you believe she was 12 um, you say things I'll teach you babe if you'll let me and she says yeah you will teach me you said yes I'll teach you everything about kissing it then you say I want to touch it but only when you're ready for me to touch it that's not something you say to oh, I know I know okay but that was a week ago or two weeks ago when I first met her okay you know now now like today so, so you still talk sexually when you thought she was 12 yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not denying that I okay. thought she was 12. Bro. Okay. I'm not denying that. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So here, here you ask if I ever ask to let, me, if I ever ask to just let me see them in a live video, would you show me? And this is after you said I will, babe. Like if I wanted to touch your boobs, would you let me touch them? She says yeah. And you said if I ever asked to just let me see them in a live video, would you show me? Yeah, I did. Okay. So that, is that not asking for nudes? I never said that I didn't ask for nudes. You said you That's just right. asked for bra and panties. That's what I asked for, yeah. And then, okay. But his boobs but she not. She didn't ask me if if I asked for nudes from her. Okay. Did you ask for nudes? Yes. Okay. I did. Okay. So you said I really want to kiss your lips because I want to taste your sweet lips. I'll teach you, babe, if you let me. Yes, I'll teach you everything about kissing. And then here you say, "Do you want to have me?" She says, "Yeah." And you said, "Really, you want to have me?" She says, yeah, how do we do it? And you said, when we meet in person, of course, silly, but for now I can prepare you for it. So then when we do have to put my inside, your tight young won't hurt as much. Please, please, man. I already know. Please, dude. 
You said that some kids are your age have heard and done sexual things. Do you know what a is? Please, dude. Okay. Well, this is what I want to ask, man. I mean, some kids are your age and have done sexual things. Where are those? How how do you know that? It's on the news every single day, man. On the news. Okay. And I've seen it firsthand. Okay. Being a police officer. True. Please stop reading, man. I feel bad enough already, dude. Please. Okay. But he, she said when I'm going to hang out with someone else. I mean, it seemed like you were controlling and manipulative in a way. You said, I'm your boyfriend, I'm this, I'm that. I didn't, bro, because if I, if, if I were manipulative or possessing, I mean, how can I control somebody that I don't even know? Well, you said, I'm, she, you, you said, I'm not going to meet you unless you send these pictures to me, knowing you weren't going to meet her, so it seems like you're just kind of trying to get pics from her. Yeah, that, that, that's, because that's, at the time, that's all I wanted, because I was horny, and... Okay, so so you just wanted, I this mean, girl you believed was 12, you just wanted to cast her off and get pics from her, I mean... Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So then you said, I'm not going after all, you play too many games, and don't listen to me one bit, I hate that. I'm done, find someone who, so, find someone else to hang out with tonight, this is the last text I'm sending you, Okay. I'm done with your games, lies, and excuses. Bye, good night, bye. And then you send broken heart emojis and then here you say, Do you want my dick in your tight? Okay, please, okay, man. okay. Why are you doing this to me, man? Okay. So why are you doing this to me? Well, I, this is what I'm curious about, man. So after I already answered all of your questions. I knew she was twelve. Okay. I thought she was twelve. I wanted, I wanted nudes. I was never gonna meet up with her. I already confessed to all of that, man. Well, why, why, why are you torturing me? Man? I'm not. So this is basically. I, I don't think you're a bad person. You you might not believe me when I say this, but there are really bad mother. And I'd, and so, I don't. So 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 help. So separate yourself. And you can be. Why do you, you think can, I'm you, doing that by, by, yeah. by trying to find some help? I know. So you can. I am. I'm so trying you, to. You do know, something. as a cop, you can be a confidential informant. Um, and this is what you should do here. I'm not saying an official confidential informant, but what you can do is explain to me how the people who kidnap little girls think. Because I know you don't do that, but I'm saying you would. If I can, basically. You know, if, when a scientist has a part has a less disease, they can find out the bad ones, right? You you, you know that? You, you know what I'm? You following me here? A scientist can isolate a virus that's not deadly to solve deadly ones. What do you think a vaccine is supposed? Are you vaccinated? Yeah. Yes. Sir. Okay. Wasn't the vaccine supposed to be well before the? It was isn't a polio shot supposed to be a, a less bad version of the polio virus and put it in you, and then it's supposed to stop the actual one. Yeah. Okay. So be the vaccine for this, and you're the less bad version. So if I can understand you, I can understand the people that need to be caught. I don't because Ruben. Yes. Did you fuck up? Yeah. Is this good? No. But is the top of my list, Ruben? Bored and horny? No, it's really not. Okay, it's not. It's really not. I just what? Well, and I promise the last question I'll ask you about this stuff is: It okay? So you still want to be my girlfriend? So after saying goodbye, you're not going to send me these. You play too many games. Why do you ask her to keep still be your your her still be your girlfriend? Because it was just a little fantasy in my mind. Okay. Did you get her that necklace? No. No. Okay. Caught it. Just to make her put her guard down. Okay, so she could send you pics. Yeah. Okay. So your time as a corrections officer 
there any situations that happen there with you and a minor? Oh God, no. No. Okay. You remember talking about that in the messages that something happened? Uh -uh. If I did, I'm, I lied. I lied about it. Okay. So. Kelsey asks you, did you date that 14-year-old? And you said no, just ate her for the very first young girl I'm going to date because I'm falling in love with you. We're actually falling in love with her? No. Okay. All right. I got you. Got you. I believe you. You said no, just ate her for the very first young girl I'm going to date. Okay. So, I know you would never, anybody underage, or put it in, but just ate her. How many times did that happen? This is... Kelsey asked, did you date that 14-year-old? And you said, no, just ate her. How many times did I... With, with, I've never... Well, what you said right here with the 14-year-old, you did. Well, R Ruben, I'm not really here to... I'm not really here to debate that with you. I'm just asking why it happened. I'm not here to debate whether you did that or what not. Happened? Why? why said it? Yes. Well, not why you said it. I'm not... Cause you said it because it happened. Sure. Hmm. Okay. Well, just curious. Where was there? A, was there some type of meeting set tonight? Supposed yeah. to be one. Where? Where at? Um, and she said at her friends. I'm assuming it was the same place, uh, somewhere over there, and uh, over there by Treasure Island somewhere. Okay. What time were you supposed to be there? Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Okay. Got it. And that was at least supposed to be for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So, if, why are you asking me this if you already know? Well, I really want to see how honest you are about everything, and you—you you have been man. honest, yeah. I've been honest, up front okay. Because, yeah. Okay, you have been truly. That's why I'm not. I don't think I'm wasting my time here. That's why I think I'm still talking to you, man. Because if you weren't honest, I would have just walked out the door and said, "I'm." done here wasting my time you know what I mean so you, you did talk about a 14 year old when you were a corrections officer that I don't I don't, I don't remember honestly I don't remember what I've told her because I've deleted everything we ever said okay if I did tell her mm -hmm. it was a lie okay did, did I say that I did it at, when I was a juvenile detention mm -hmm. officer, I, I didn't. I, I didn't. It's a lie. I just said it to to see how she would react. And how are you hoping she would react? That it would make her curious, more curious. Okay. Because after that, you know, you want to be honest. I'll be honest. When, like I said, when I when and and you could go back and because you have it all there. Mm -hmm. When I would say the word stuff like that, she would act like she didn't know what it was. Did that kind of turn you on in a way? No. Did did you being in the teacher role turn her on, or turn you on? I'm sorry. Like no. no. So, so so the fact that you said I want to teach you all this stuff you can learn that didn't turn you on. No, honestly, no. I just honestly I just said it just because I wanted to see what she was gonna do. Okay. You know and and. At first, my intentions were, yeah, I, I, I wanted to meet her, okay? I'm going to be honest with In you. person? In person. But then when when I started talking sexual, like I said, when I started saying and she started, what is that, you know, and what is, you know, and then when I asked her if she ever gets horny, has she ever, I think I asked her that. Mm -hmm. Um, and she said, no, what is that? And then that's when I told her all that stuff that I would teach her. Okay. So at first you wanted to meet her. How were you going to do that? Like, what, like, if you wanted to, like, what, practically what would, what would um, the steps have been for that? Yeah, I mean, you have, don't have a car. Like, what, what would it have been? I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know. Would you have tried to? I think I would have attempted it. Okay. If I... If I had a car, I think I would have. I would have attempted it. Okay. Um, but. And 
were you hoping to meet up for the stuff, all that type of stuff? Yeah. Okay. Even, even like... Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, it, it seems like you, you, you keep talking about letting her guard down, getting her more comfortable, this type of stuff. So, were, were you hoping sometime in the near future to hopefully go meet her? At the beginning, yeah. But okay. then once... Once she started acting like real naive about, mm -hmm. I knew that I knew that I knew it wasn't I knew it wasn't real I knew she wasn't real, but it was just a fantasy in my in my mind. You know that's all it was. I mean, cause so you so you you thought she was real at first. At first, yeah. And, and then, you still propositioned the stuff to her, thinking she was real, but then she acted too naive for you to think she was real. Yeah, but I kept going because. She was the only one I was talking to. Okay. And so, so basically, it, it wouldn't have mattered if she was real or not. You would have done the same thing regardless when it comes to messaging. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, whether you fully believed it or not, did you just assume she was 12 the whole time? Not a full belief, just an, an assumption. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So... Would you say that you reasonably believed it to be 12 the whole time? Reasonably, okay. So, um, okay. So the whole time, you mostly thought she was probably 12. You just, okay, some doubt kept, started creeping in at some other time. Okay, that makes that, that, that makes the most sense. So, I'm going to ask you again, you know, you talk about teaching, teaching. If she learned all of this stuff, say, in three months, four months from now, were you going to go try again to meet her? No. No. Okay. No, because... If you thought she was 100% real, would you have tried to one of these days? No. no. I don't think I would have. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. too afraid. Okay. So... This. So... But, yeah. You know... Um, but it happened. So, so if she was more sexually mature, like, yeah, I know what your yeah. is, do you think you would have went to go meet her? No. So why did you want to go meet her? I mean, you said you wanted to meet her for and all that, so... It, it, it was just a fantasy, man. But you told me that you actually wanted to go do it. Yeah, I, I, it was a fantasy. It was just a fantasy. Well, a fantasy is something everybody wants to do. We all have fantasies we want to do. So that's not really an excuse. I'm asking, you said at first you wanted to go meet her for sh And you were going to find a way to do that. Did you not say that? I said I would have. You would have, okay. I would have. So you actually would have. If, if, I, if I really thought she was 12, I think I probably would have. Okay. So there was, okay. So there was actually an, in, and I'm just putting this bluntly. So there was actually an intention to go have the twelve, twelve year old. Okay. In the beginning, not today. Not today. Okay. I mean, in a way, that kind of sounds worse than just. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, it's honest because a lot of them. Well, I mean, no, I don't want to say it's worse because you're actually being honest. So you were hoping this was fully real so you could go have sex with her. Is that right? I don't know. Honestly, I don't. Well, you say yes or no. What, what is it? No. No. It was just a fantasy. I keep saying that. But you wanted to actually go do it, I thought you said. No. No. You, you, it, was just, it was just a fantasy. You just told me you would have tried to go do it, attempted to I, do I, it. If, if, I think I would have, but I honestly don't think I would have had the nerve to honestly go through through with it because of this. You said at the beginning, what was the very beginning though? At the beginning, yeah. Okay. At the beginning, yeah. But then, even before I thought she was too naive about I just, I, it was just all a fantasy. Man. Okay. So, so at first you actually did want to go have 12 year old then it turned into a fantasy is, is that yeah, what okay yeah that's it because I um, so why did you ever want to do it in the first place be, because it was just a fantasy man. so this is a fan okay so you so you wanted to go fulfill a fantasy you've had then no because you make it sound like I've, I've always had it and I haven't always had okay, it okay you've wanted to fulfill a fantasy you've had recently recently okay so again there there was an intention to hopefully go out 
real 12 year old at some point in this conversation. At some point, okay, yeah. all right. So, um, I mean, even so, so at some point you wanted to do it. Now, not so much anymore. But you've always assumed throughout the whole thing you thought she was. Re you reasonably believed her to be 12. Is that right? At the beginning, I could keep saying. Okay, but what about? Midway through the conversation, when you're asking her, "Would you let me touch it? I can teach you about this stuff." Dude, we keep you going in circles. I am going in circles because you keep changing your answer every no, two not. seconds. Okay, I'm not. I'm telling you the okay. truth. At first, I thought she was 12. I wanted to do it, but I would have never had the balls to do it. I never. That's the God's honest truth. I wouldn't have never had the balls to do it. So, what does you would have tried to mean? I, I'm because that's what you want to hear. That's what Did I ever tell you to say that? No, but that's what you This want is what to you hear. said. But that's what you want to hear. It's not about what I want to hear. It's literally about the truth when you keep this changing your no, you change your answer every 2 seconds, no, man. No, no, I don't. I've been honest with you since the beginning. I've been honest with you since the beginning. And I I, I don't know what else to tell you. And we're just going Cuz you said throughout the whole conversation circle. you assumed she was 12 the whole time. No. You, you absolutely said that. No. Because I told you that there was a, there, that when I thought that she was naive, that's when I started thinking that she wasn't 12, and the rest of it was just BS. The tongue, everything I told her was just BS. <sighs> Ruben. Okay. So that doesn't change the fact you still talk sexually to someone who you thought was 12. I know. Okay. I'm not denying that. So man. what does tonight mean when you say, I want to have with your 12 year old body? That was just something I told you. In the heat of the moment, I was horny. Okay. Okay? I just wanted to say something and, and just have a fantasy in my mind that's sick. Okay? And that's why I said it. Okay? 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 And that's the only reason. Oh. I would have... I, I wouldn't have seen her. And then... Oh. You keep saying you wouldn't have seen her. Well, what's the reason you wouldn't have seen her? I didn't... Because, dude, I'm too scared, man. What are you scared of? This. This. Okay. And but look, here I am. Got it. Oh. And to top it off, you have me on on camera, and I don't know what you're gonna do with this video. So, what was a? Uh... God damn, can you get the air freshener from the car? Yeah. What happened to the... Oh. Oh. Yeah. Was there any, any signal in here ever? No, not at all. Can you text her that there's no signal? Did you text her already? Okay. So, what's going to happen, man? How often do you go to church often? No. No. So, uh, do you read the Bible? Is that the Bible right there? Yeah. You do you read it often? Every day. Every day. What's your favorite verse? Psalms 91. I don't know that one. What is it? It says, He who abides in the secret place of the Most High shall... I don't care, man. I can't remember. Do you use it to guide you? I try to, man. I try to. You really do try to fix this, don't you? What do you mean? You do try to fix this. Like, this issue... You have. I'm, I'm trying to. Yeah, that, that I, I definitely do respect, man. Tr truly. So, what was the 14-year-old's name across the street? Megan. Megan. Hmm, Megan Law. Nah, how ironic. So, How many times did you guys like kiss in the car? Like, how long did this go on for? Uh, a couple of months. A couple of months. Okay. Why did she? Did, was this when you were like lighter or anything? Mm -hmm. 
What made you? What made? What made? You, like, why'd she come on to? Like, how did it start? Like, like I told you, she, she liked my truck. Oh, okay. And she wanted to have a ride in it or something like that. Nah, she just liked it. And how did one thing lead to the other? It just that's that was just it. Just one thing led to another, and we just you know we kissed, man. Yeah, I think the conversation's about to get a little bit uncomfortable. Am I gonna be arrested? Man, please don't, please. Look, dude, the best thing you can do now, I mean, you're a Christian, you're Christian or Catholic? Christian, man, okay. please don't arrest me. You know all about demons, dude. I know, I know. Let's get them out. And I, that's what I'm trying to do. I know, I know. Man, but what? Me. It, nothing lasts for a few months and is only kissing. The, the honesty, nothing. The, nothing. Bro, I'm being honest before God, bro. It doesn't. Before God, I'm not, bro. God doesn't care about you right now. Yes, He does. That's a lie. Cause He He does care for me. You think even He does? I'm a sinner, even though I'm a sinner. You're even though you're a sinner. Okay. Do you think He's disappointed in you right Hell now? Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. He'd want you to tell the truth. And that's what I'm doing. Okay. Look, Man, I'm not going to accuse you of having sex with her, okay? Please don't arrest me, please. I'm not a cop, dude. I have no power to arrest you. So listen. Ruben, listen, dude. Nothing lasts for a few months and is only kissing. Did you guys hug? Yeah. Okay. Like in the car? In the truck? No, in the living room. Is that, is that, so is that where y'all made out? Yeah. Okay. What did your dad say about that? Mom and dad say about that? He didn't know. And your mom? She didn't live here. She, they were divorced. They, they're divorced. Okay. How, I mean, what would you guys do together, like, in that, like, hang out in the house? Just watch TV, watch Watch movies. TV, okay. Where did she typically sit? Um, I had a different couch, so... On the other side, of, on that other side. Okay, how many times did she sit in your lap? Never. Never. Was she ever asked to? No. No. Okay, so when you were... So you guys would hug and kiss on the couch and all that? Okay. So... And this... Was that like that the first time? Or or did it kind of uh, progress to that? We can, but I think... I think you want to stop because you know some other... It no, happened. No, okay. No. That, okay. And, and you see that that's the thing. I could I could keep telling you. You you want to try me. Well, want, first it was want, kissing, then it was hugging and kissing. Okay. Did did what, did. What do you do when you when you kiss? You hug. You just don't do that. No, of course you I know. Hug, I know. Okay? So. All right. You just, what you're trying to do is you're trying to make me say something that I did that I didn't do, and you don't believe me, and I know that. I know that you don't. Well, the truth me. is somewhere always in the I'm middle. Looking, I'm looking you straight in the eye, and I'm telling you, man, and man, I did not have sex with her. Okay. Yes, we made out, and what you're trying to do is trying to make me confess to something that I did not do. Why did I? Why are you? Why do you think I think you had sex with her? I don't think that, but like I was gonna say, the truth is somewhere in the middle, man. I don't think you had sex with her. I don't think. I think in your good conscience, just like you with Kelsey, you cut it off at the right time. Where did the hands go? Y'all's hands go. That's, that's. Didn't go anywhere. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude! You dude. really don't want you to get. You really, you know, R I'm, Ruben. I'm you, you see, that's the thing. You don't. No matter what I tell you, you're not gonna believe me. You want because there's why? a lot of. Because you, you want to know why. You want to know why. Here's here's why. Because you, you said you, you lied about the most basic. Like you your did. mom lives lived here. She I didn't. I did not say she lived here. I did not say. No, I did not say. He I absolutely. Not, no, I did not. You assumed it. You said you. I, I asked. Remember what you said. I asked, did your mom, mom live here too? And you no, said yes. No, I didn't. No, I did not say that. See, but that's that's not even the the point. It's not even relevant because that has nothing to do with why you're here. Okay, and no matter what I tell you, you're not gonna believe me because you think that I'm think that I'm the scum of the earth, and that's fine because that's what I am. And that's what I feel. And then you tell me that God don't love me, doesn't love me. And that's a lie. That is a lie. 
and 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 I, you know I, he's disappointed in me yes hell yes am I disappointed in me hell yes okay you 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 want to get graphic with this 14 year old girl that I'm just made out with that's it the reason we didn't have is because I was too scared and so was she I know I know so was she and I'm not a I not, didn't say you were. I don't but, think but, you've had with her. But, but, I'm telling you, I don't think you've had with her. So you were scared. She was scared. So how did the conversation come up then? What conversation? She was scared. You were scared. So how did y'all communicate that to each other? She told me. She says I'm scared, I, I, and I respected that. Okay. So you you said she came on to you, which you know, a lot of the, a lot of them do. Okay. So they do. They a lot of them do come on. And I think she's probably the one. She's probably the one that sucks you into this. So, did she make you put your hands anywhere? No, not. not I only thing I touched was her ass, and that was it. Because we were kissing, mm -hmm. and then that was it. I, I because okay. I could tell she was nervous. Did you squeeze it? No, just caressed it. What's caressing? Just touched it. That you know what it is, man. So did you cup your hands on it? No. Of course dude. you did. Oh listen, God, Paul. See, because you're, listen, you know you're you're trying, you know why you want to know you're something. Again. Do you want to know something? What? I talked to Megan. <laughs> you want to know how I know? I was waiting on you to say I touched her ass. I talked to her, Paul. I'm ah, sorry, not Paul. There's a there's there's another Paul that kind of looks like you. Oh, you, oh, oh man. yeah. Now, now, you're, now you're lying. Oh no, I'm lying. You are lying. About what? About talking to Megan you are you are lying you are so lying that's it man yeah absolutely please if you want to think I'm lying about it Paul that's fine you touched her ass Paul, my name is Ruben sorry I get it mixed up you see dude see that's where you're messing up mm -hmm. because you're trying to me into saying something that I did do. Oh, I touch your ass? And, and you're getting me confused with somebody else, and you need to get your facts straight and who people are, okay? Because this, right now, and I'm glad now that he's taping this, mm -hmm. because you are lying. About? Are lying about talking to Megan. No, I'm not. Okay, what did she tell you? Well, and, uh, okay, you know, I, I like? never... What, like? what does she look like? If you talked to her, or did, did you talk to her on the phone or what? Well, or basically, person? so basically, it's easy to kind of get the property records of who's lived in this area. Okay, okay, and, and what 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 uh, what did she tell you? Well, she told me a pretty similar thing to what you're telling me. So. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. You know why I said you never had with her? Because I know you didn't. I never said you had with Megan. But the ass touching. You didn't say you did that until you said you did it. What she what she told me is, like you said, caressing the butt, the breasts. And you know how I know, because it corroborates, because a lot of the things here in these messages were breasts, breasts. You're a, you're a, you're a guy. I'm a guy, too. I'm a, I'm a guy, too. And you talked about how she came on to you. Look, is it right you did it? No, of course not. But 14, yes. This is If this was a nine-year-old, there's no, oh, she came on to me. You, you, would, you wouldn't buy that either. <laughs> like, but this is a 14-year-old. I'm not saying she's an adult. I'm not going to try to gaslight you and think, oh, that's an adult. No, it's not. But yes, no, coherent, yes, sir. They can consent, but they can't consent. You know, you know what I'm trying to get at here, uh, Ruben? Okay. So, no, she didn't tell me you guys had And never did I say that. I'm glad this is filmed, so this, that. It's not hard. It's not hard to just talk to people. It's really not. I mean, <laughs> you think that Kelsey <laughs> was when we knew about you? Please, give me a break. Give me a break. You think Kelsey was, oh, this Paul guy's really up to something. Give me a I'm sorry. We, there's somebody that looks a lot like Paul. You got to see what Paul looks like, dude. The guy in music. M O S S M O O S I C. If they're both wearing a black shirt, that's not.
helping. <laughs> can I just show you a picture of Paul and you can... I, I really do want to show you. Here, look. Well, I have a picture of him. I really do want to show you. And I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it up because I don't know my guys. I really don't have I really need to show you what he looks like. Look. God damn it. Hold on. Give me a sec here, man. Okay. You, you need to understand where I'm coming from with this. <laughs> You need to understand, like, it's not, it's not, it's not that, you know, I'm getting your mixed up with somebody else. It's like, it's literally, you guys look very similar, so it's like, you know what I mean? He was, he was the fourth guy. You know, you know, you, you get where you get where I'm coming from now? Okay. So, it, so it's not, uh, it's not, you know, Paul isn't some skinny five foot five white, he's like similar, similar build race, all that stuff, you know what I mean? But, um, okay, so... Yeah, it, it's really not hard to, uh, it's really not hard to talk to people. Okay, Kelsey wasn't the, uh, Kelsey wasn't the, oh my god, Ruben does this. Ruben, got it right. Ruben does this. This is a, yeah, of course it's a long time coming. Now, of course, with Kelsey, that's when we started really like, okay, has this ever happened before? It was really the, it was really the one you said the 14-year-old in juvie. You know, because a lot of times, you know, said to, is there a gun there? No. Got to be safe. A lot of time, a lot of times, uh, did you get there, the Febreze? A lot of times said to impress, I, I get it, but you know, it, it all stems from truth in some type of way. So that's why with Megan, yeah, what she told me is, yeah, the ass caressing, it was a squeeze though, by the way, Ruben, and yeah, you're a boob guy, obviously. And when she told me the boob thing, then going back through your chats, oh, that absolutely makes sense. Then, of course, the hug and kissing. So the reason I'm asking you over and over again, because I want, well, I, I want to see if what y'all say matches. It's not going to match because you're lying. I, don't, I know you didn't talk to her. You know I didn't talk to her. So how do I know you touched her boobs then? Because I didn't. You absolutely did. No, what's no. What's her last name? What's her last name? It's not about me no, giving you all of this. Name? Absolutely not. It's not about me giving you this info. It's about making sure that you're honest and actually want to be on the same page. I've been honest with you since the beginning, and then. So you were omitting the part where you said you touched this girl's ass. Oh, okay. I told you I did, okay? But that's it. That is it, okay? I don't know what else you want me to Do you think I'm me. some stupid who doesn't believe that you squeezed it? Do you think I'm some stupid that, that thinks that you, that knows that you didn't speak to her? I know you didn't speak to her. Hey, this isn't 2013 where you guys have dinosaur technology. This is 2023. So you haven't been around. spoke to her, what is her last name? That's not something that I need to share with you because it's about keeping you honest. It's not about I'm me having to prove. It's not about me having to prove anything to you, I'm Paul. Being with you. See, my name isn't Paul, dude. You, you need to get straight. Man. I do with that. You're right. I, you're absolutely right. I do. This isn't about me. I don't need to justify anything to you. I can walk out of this door right now and not give a single. F Ruben. What do you want from me, man? The truth. I've been, I'm telling you the truth. You're not telling the truth about squeezing her ass. I didn't, because I didn't do it. All right? I did not, I did not do so it. So you rubbed it. Yeah. How okay. many times? A couple of times. That was it. <laughs> you were... Okay, dude, what, what's the point of this, man? Okay. You've, you already, I haven't lied to you about, didn't lie to you about Kelsey. I told you about Megan. And that is it. What? do you want from me but you didn't tell me about megan until you you said oh we but kissed i told you okay, okay. okay. You, you rubbed her ass what do you want man what do you want are you gonna me? raise your voice at me because i'm getting frustrated because you what do you want from me i already told you the truth about kelsey about megan and that was it that is it okay that is it I, I I don't want to go to jail, you know, but I don't know what... So, know. so, so here's where I'm coming from. 
Yes. Absolutely. You want us to leave? What, 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 what do you want from me? Do you want us to leave? What, what do you want from me? The truth. I've told you the truth. What's, what's kind of missing here is the other, um, the other places that yours or hers hands wandered. Did she grab you anywhere? No. She didn't do anything to my... No. Did she, she rub your thigh? Did she do any of that? My back. That she was rubbed it. your back. That was okay. It. What do you want from me, man? The truth. I'm telling you Ruben. the truth. We're going in circles, man. We well, are going in circles. It took circles to get you to admit that you touched your ass. You couldn't have just said that the first keep, time. And then you keep confusing me with somebody else. Well, you guys look alike. What can I say? Well, that's that's something that you need to get straight with because you what you going what you could end up doing is hurting somebody else that didn't do anything. Oh, he was a lot worse than you. Don't get me wrong. I, I know. See, and then you, you keep throwing these insults at me. And then I said he was a lot worse than you. Oh, but from the beginning, you've been, you've been, you've been insulting me, like telling me that this house smells like that. You know, it, it already happens that you're not throwing because it already happens. How? What kind of? I mean, yeah. Okay, I know I'm I'm sick. Okay, I know I need help. I'm I'm a. I know that. Okay, but what kind of person would go in and start insulting a man? Not that I want your pity, because I don't need your pity. Okay, I piss in there because I have to, okay? I can't get up. I'm in pain right now. I want to go to sleep, but I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know if, if there's going to be some cops coming in and arresting me. I don't know what's going to happen. All well, I want well, you is should know, you, you know. should know as a cop that when you're you, they can't take you to jail in a day, right? Or in the, you know that they would have to bring all of your to jail. So what practicality would that have? You should know that. I mean, don't you know that? I've never had to deal with the situation like this before. Okay. Well. I, I just don't understand the repeating of the questions. You're trying to make me say something that I, I that that didn't happen. And then you keep confusing me with this Paul dude, which makes me even more apprehensive because you could possibly have other, I mean. Possibly uh, what? Oh my God. So, 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 so Ruben, I mean. I, I'm really. I, I really, I, I do, I know you don't believe me when I say this, I really don't think you're an evil person at all. I really, really don't. Look, whether it's Megan or not, I know when you kiss somebody for months and months and months, and you touch their ass, I know the hands wander. Because I'm also a guy. It's not that you did, it's not that you only do this to 14 year olds, you're a guy. We're all guys here. Have you guys ever have you guys ever kissed someone for months and just touched their butt? It always it always does more than that. Always. That's all. It's not about it's not it's not a gotcha this, gotcha that. It's literally it's literally if you really want this help, if you would think you can help yourself with this, yeah, you gotta release some demons, man, that you regret. Look, Ruben, I know you regret everything. If you didn't regret it, you would just tell me you would be completely honest about everything, and you weren't. That means that shows humanity. It doesn't show it doesn't show evil. It shows, it shows humanity. You have humanity. But look, come on, man, let's get let's get some of these demons out. You're a Christian. Let's get it out. Make God proud for real. Where else did the hands go? I'm not saying you went under her pants. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying I think you rubbed her thigh. I think you might have touched her over her pants and maybe grabbed her that's all how much of that is true none of it I've never met a guy who's been with a woman who just grabs their ass or rubs their ass to tell you because you're, you're trying to force me to say admit to something that I did not do okay I can tell you the sky is purple all day long and you okay. will not believe me 
Okay, and okay, I don't see the point in trying to beat a dead horse. I don't see the point, man. What 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 are you? Trying it's to it's get just crazy that you're you're. Well, if I asked you in the very beginning, did you rub Megan's ass? You would have said no. No, no, you didn't ask. I said, did you do more than kiss? And you Dude, said what no. Are, what are you? What what are you trying? Why are you trying to force me to say something that I did not do, man? I'm telling you, dude, I didn't, I didn't do anything else but grab her ass. That was it, or caress her ass. And you're lying about talking. Okay, to you, dude. so let me ask you this. Uh, let me ask you this, Ruben. Sit there with, with that, you know, and doing what you're did, doing. Did did he? So you did squeeze how many no, times? I said caress. You said grab just now. No, and I corrected myself because I never grabbed it. I caressed it. Okay, but the thing of it is. You doing what you're doing right now, mm -hmm. you're lying and you're trying to get me to say something that I didn't do because I know you didn't talk to Megan. I know. I know you didn't. You're oh. lying about that. You're lying about that. Oh, the what's well, okay. You, and you want me to be honest with you when you're not being honest with me? Oh, so you're telling me you're not being honest with me? No. I said you want me. I, that's not what I'm saying. I'm telling you. That you want me to be honest with, with you mm -hmm. when you're not being honest with me. You're making up stories. A, a, a story about speaking to, to, to Megan. Okay? You are lying. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, whatever you want to say. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. That's, that's, I know. But, yeah, um, okay, if it doesn't matter. Okay, absolutely. You want us to go? Please. Sure. So, um, the cops are on the way. I know, I know. And, um, obviously everything's going to be turned over to them, um, including this confession that she just gave on the camera, um, and you saying over and over that you're, you believe she was 12, all of that, and that you've received child throughout the years, and that you, um, caressed the ass of a 14-year-old girl. That's all going to the cops, by the way. And, um, what's going to happen is, you know, knowing Guadalupe County, they're probably going to arrest your sorry ass. And, I mean, they probably would have to get, um, gosh, what's a big circle? Probably two sea bear circles or two hula hoops to uh, fit around so your arms can fit in them. But, um, yeah, your ass is going to probably be arrested, and you're going to be charged, probably, I assume, I'm not a cop, with probably online solicitation of a minor because, you know, that's why, that's why I got you to say you arranged a meeting with her because whether you meet or not doesn't matter. Um, and um, your bug shot, I would literally to it. And I would do. I would literally put the mugshot on my phone to it, and have my on your mugshot because you're such a sorry piece of. And um, after that, you know, I'll just laugh at you for however uh, many years that we got left on this earth. Hopefully, it's along for both of us. And uh, yeah, and this is also going to go. Um, not this part. Hey, what's up, guys? So this is a very, very risky thing to show here, but it's on Rumble, um, completely uncensored, in the pinned comment. Um, just go watch it. I say some very uh, choice words to this individual here, and um, I feel more comfortable posting it on Rumble. So it's completely free in the pinned comment. Go join up. We do live streams there. Um, we don't do live streams on YouTube. Uh, we post way more videos there, and all the videos you see here are early and uncensored on Rumble. So go to Rumble, see what I said to him, because I ain't showing it here. Enjoy. I gotta tell him I'm going to jail. Okay. Because I'll vouch for you. That's fine. <laughs> oh. Bad. 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 He's trying to appeal to. Maybe that's the only language these cops understand. Who knows? I'm well, sorry, Houston. I'm sorry. Dude, it is dark as. Yeah, yeah, of course. 
I don't, I, well, practically, Paul, I don't think they're going to take you to jail tonight. Um, okay. If you need to sit down, yeah, absolutely, dude. Don't, don't, uh, you know. Let me see my phone, Pablo. Did the cops say they were uh, on the way? Yeah, she said there should be an officer arriving. Okay. Okay. I mean, dude, the whole poll thing was, it was, it was really, it was really an honest mistake. Like, honestly, <laughs> it was really an honest mistake. Like, truly. Was there no signal or was it doing that bull that it does? No signal. Save some time. Do, 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 do. As long as stuck in my head. I don't know why that came into my head. Text, uh, did you text Tiggy that the signal went out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So we're driving it right now. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. People on here are stingy and can well, some <laughs> are stingy and cancel before they ask questions, so um, go ahead. Okay. All right. Well, we're outside waiting for the cops now. Um, the signal completely pooped out in the house. Um, did you guys see any of the inside or what? Good evening. Cut off once we got inside. Oh, God. Well, it was quite the thing. Thank you, Cynthia, for the five. All right. Well, we didn't intentionally cut it off, but... Um, Paul, I appreciate you being a man about all this. I really do. Well, but it, you know, when you have remorse, I'm sure the judge and jury will definitely take that into consideration. Are you still filming for her? Yeah. Okay. Just keep it rolling because we don't have a live, so it's just so there's no like threats made or anything. But, um, the bleach. God dang it. There he is. God, there's like no street lights. What the f 
Yeah, we see the flashlight. Now she blows. Here, here's the here's the papers. Yeah. I'm sorry for you. I do, thank you, Paulie, for the 10. I do appreciate you taking accountability for this, man. I really do. I truly, I truly do. I do. I know I called you a scumbag piece of shit and made a funny abbreviation for what UPS means, but, um, I do, I do, I do, I do uh, I do appreciate you stepping up. I just wish... Number one, I wish this would have never happened. Number yeah. two, I wish you would have just given me a chance just to make it right on my own. You had a chance for six years. Your, ch your chance was when a, co was when a cop in Brev Brevard, Brevard County sent you probably child tried to blow you and you escaped that somehow. That was your chance. You literally you literally had so many chances and but man dude oh, I mean dozens of girls sending you their nudes of underage come on bro you know that come on as a cop would you have given that guy a if you were a cop and there was somebody in your position now would you be giving them a chance? If it was the first time yeah. But you wouldn't be saying no charges. Yeah, but I mean, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't arrest them. I mean, because you would have arrested them. I would have, I would have listened to what they had to say. I listened to what you had to say for two hours, and you told me that you grabbed the. Well, I'm sorry, caressed the ass of a 14 year old girl. You know what I mean? I, I know, and I told you from the beginning what that, that I was sick, and I, I know what I am. Yeah. But you. Right. Former cop. Thanks, Paul. I'm pretty holy shit. Can I pay him? Today? Absolutely. Absolutely. Sure. Cops are pulling up. Just, uh, my advice to you is just be honest as possible. You're, you're, you're at the bleach. Make sure you get them good on camera for so you can post this on YouTube as well. Yeah. Yeah, he's like he already thinks he's going. He already thinks he's going to jail tonight. So what we do is I have uh, my on-call investigator. Okay. Coming up. Yes, sir. So we're, we are not going to ask him any questions basically right now. I'm okay. just going to make the scene until she gets here. Yes, sir. And then go from there. Awesome. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you. Um, investigator Chi and Chet is a familiar with what we do. He's yeah, familiar with us. Yeah, he just doesn't happen to be on call tonight. Right, right, right. Gotcha. I just want building to see. Oh, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Mr. Bella. Okay. I'm Sergeant Ryan Bravo. Um, we're going to wait to see the investigator finish the process. That's what we're asking for. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, I can't say that very well. Or, so where we're at, we're just going to hang out here and push it. Okay. Uh, so you doing okay? No. I came out willing, voluntarily. Okay. Understand. Did you say I'm not willing to volunteer? Oh, you said we forced him to be here or something like that? I think he's 
Oh, he said, he, I'm here voluntarily. everything on camera and, and he like we told him it was voluntary and he consented to the filming he so like he, he knew we were filming all that stuff and um basically at first he's like i don't want the cameras and i'm like well if there's no cameras i'm not having this conversation and he's like okay well we can film that because he re, like, i didn't say i'm going to call the cops but he was just he was really nervous and he just wanted to talk to us and um he uh he said that he had a relationship with this 14 year old girl across the street uh, a few years ago named megan and he said they hugged and kissed and he would caress her ass, but he claims nothing else happened besides that, but that's probably BS. And uh, yeah, he said he believed this was a 12 year old he was talking to. And he said he actually did want to go meet up and have sex with her um, at some point, but it was supposed to happen tonight, And but he obviously has no way to get there and whatever. But, um, you know, if I'm not mistaken, I think the Texas law says as long as they arrange a meet, it's not a defense if they don't go meeting, so. It, it, like I explained earlier, we do have an investigator coming out. Yeah. So we're just going to kind of not, not speak with them or have them make any kind of incriminating statements while we're here. For sure. Thanks, Polly. Bless you. And they're in the video? Yep. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I think they're all just... Remember, we gotta put them in the video, but we also have to say they're bad. 
What about this for release? Release badges? We're from Houston, but we just travel all over doing this. And um, there was an individual by the name of messaging us, uh, who he believed to be a 13 year old girl. Um, he said he wants to have uh, her and her friend and get a hotel room. Uh, he never followed through with that, but he was just very uh, sexual in the messages. And um, he said he's talked to other minors online before, and he said that. What's up, guys? So consider joining our locals. If you like the fact that we cash predators nationwide, it's not possible without you joining our locals. On locals, you get to see over 20 caches early and completely uncensored. You get to see live predator confrontations as they happen. And you get to support the movement that has an arrest in 43 different states and convictions of 24. We do travel the most and catch the sickest. It's only $7 a month. You get more early content than Rumble. We do big content dumps every single month on locals. And can't do this without you guys. Consider joining locals.